I had a broken switch, uh, slide switch, which came apart on me, and the little contact that slides back and forth was completely missing out of this. This switch is on the back over here, and I replaced it with a slide switch that I had from a small junk box that I saved from my workshop. It's brand new old stock. So what this switch does, I'm not quite sure, but it has something to do with the cathode of the CRT. I'll get you a closer look of that. So what this does is, I guess it sets this bridge in here or without the bridge. But I'm not quite sure because I do not have any uh, service information on this scope. I have the... Uh, PDF file for the non-rack mount scope, which contains three plugins, so it's not the same scope. Whereas this rack mount scope only has two plugins. So um, what I'm doing here is I removed this switch, and I had a hell of a time getting the screws in so I had to you know the original screws were very short and I couldn't get the nut on them and they were smaller so I had some 440s that's the common size that I've always used for tube sockets is the 440s I have a box of them here that I had in my old workshop different lengths so, in order to get the switch in, I had to get long 440 screws. They're about an inch long, so I can get the nut on, because the, the short ones, I couldn't get the nut on. And I tried going in reverse and putting the nuts out here, and I just couldn't get any way to hold it. Uh, anyways, I got them tightened up, and I'm going to be putting the wires back on. This wire goes up on the top contact, this uh, middle wire right here which I've disconnected right here you can see it see the end of it right there okay that goes to the middle and this one here that I'm trying to solder on goes to the bottom now the original switch it only had it's a single pole double throw this is a double throw sing, uh, double double pole single throw switch okay so in other words there were six contacts, but only using the three on this side. But I can't get solder to stick to that, so I'm going to be using my um, liquid solder flux. First time I opened this, and put it on here, and then try to solder these on. I'm going to do that off camera. But All right, not the greatest of soldering job because I actually had to carry the solder over on the iron and do it because I needed the magnifying glass. I can't hold everything. So I would never win any soldering awards, but it's on there. It's not going to fall off. So uh, what this does, I really don't know, but it's needed. The original switch was broken and doesn't do anything. So now what I got to do is to concentrate on this receptacle here which is a um, three prong. I don't have anything that'll go in there unless I butcher up an extension cord and I run the risk of ruining it because it, I don't know how much plastic I can cut off with a razor blade in order to get it to fit in there. So I'm going to probably remove this receptacle. But in order to put a computer type uh, connector in here it's going to take a lot of filing and the problem is this is the high voltage board right here there was a cover on this right here which was right here I had to remove it so I can get into here and um, that's the high voltage uh, tubes the rectifier tubes right there um, in order to get into this, I'm running, I'm very close to these, uh, ceramic strips here, and you bang into them, you say goodbye. I would almost 
I don't know if I really want to do this, but I could tack on the wires here, drill a hole here, and put a cord through here. Hardwire it. But I'm not going to jump into that right away. Simply because there's always that possibility I may get may be able to get the cord for this. And not only that, but if I can't get the plug-ins for this, then in the fall, like I say, I may um, bring this to the ham auction. Now, any of you that have worked on Tektronic scopes, especially the older ones, the ones with the ceramic, like this, I know I've had two... Tektronix 535 oscilloscopes at one time in my attic workshop. Each scope came with silver bearing solder. And that's it right here. Just a little roll here. It is needed to solder on to these ceramic strips. You must use silver bearing solder. I have 5% silver bearing solder that I got from Radio Shack a long, long time ago. So whenever I do any soldering on these, on these here, and that also includes the Type 321 oscilloscope, uh, I use the 5% on that too. But this scope has a little roll of it right here. And that is there for servicing. In case you didn't know, I was well aware of that many years ago. Dean Huster, I think. Uh, I don't know if he's still around anymore. I used to correspond with him uh, years ago by uh, mail. And he's helped me out a little bit on uh, Tektronic Scopes when I had my 535. Uh, answered a couple questions for me. And... Um, that's how I learned about the silver bearing solder. Anyways, that's all for this. I am going to put clip leads on this now and see what this switch actually does now that it's working. And I uh, was able to solder good once I got that uh, liquid flux on there.